Okay. Here we are at the Vesper Hills uh, version of Front Page Challenge. Beautiful. With uh, Jack Valaket, former NHL player. Uh, Jack, thanks for doing this, bud. You bet, really Kent. Appreciate it. Yeah, glad to be here. Can you give a uh, brief synopsis of your career for anybody at the club who might not uh, be aware of what you were able to accomplish in the NHL? Sure. Um, I was drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 1974. I played junior hockey in Sault Ste. Marie um, in 1973, 74. I played one year. Uh, they started drafting 18-year-olds then, but Toronto for four years and then Colorado for four years, three and a half, four years. And here I am. It, was, uh, it went by fast. Yeah. Uh, it was fabulous. Playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs was wonderful yeah. to play. And then when we were in the playoffs, it was, it was, the atmosphere was fantastic. So. Yeah. Uh, really, and we made the playoffs when we were in Toronto then. Every nice. year, every year. <laughs> nice, nice. So we asked you to do this because uh, I'm, I and and uh, I think me other members of the club be very interested in how a guy who was a world-class athlete <laughs> having to compete and compete hard for eight years to you know battle for a job every night, right? Yeah. And so you come here with with all of us weekend warriors. And I've played with you, and you know you're a great guy to play with. I mean, you, well, you, thank you, you enjoy your best shots. You don't get bent out of shape if you hit a bad one. But how, how do you make this shift from from being a world class athlete to being a recreational player like the rest of us? Well, one good thing, I never had to make a living playing golf, <laughs> <laughs> and that yeah. just about you know sums it up, really. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, I enjoy it, and uh, and uh, there was a time. A long time ago, and this is a little funny story. I threw my club once, only once, and it went up and into a tree. And I had to climb. I had to climb, actually climb out to get my club. And I said, "You are an idiot, because you're not that good." And that was a, that was many 40, 45 years ago. But there's no. It, it's just to be at the level I got paid. I was a professional athlete, and yes, it was very important. So you you ascertain that level of competition and and to get in the playoffs and to compete for the Stanley Cup. Unfortunately, I never won the Stanley Cup. We made it to the semifinals once as, as the Leafs and it was fantastic. We beat the Islanders out. We couldn't beat Philadelphia in the 70s. Um, Not many could. No, no, they were they were more talented. They were tough, but they were a talented crew as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when when you're a professional athlete, that's you get paid to do something and you do it well and you put your heart and soul into it. And your whole life revolves around that, by the way when you're a professional athlete. Coming to play golf uh, is completely different. I never had that attitude. I enjoyed it. I, man, I love hitting good shots like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I, I never took it that seriously. I, I don't take lessons. I don't have a really good swing to, to be truthful, but I get it done at times. Welcome to the club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, congratulations on the championship. Oh, thanks, buddy. Club Appreciate C. It. Yeah, very yeah. good. And I know you worked hard at that, and yeah, it was important. Thanks. thanks. Yeah, so good on you. And that's the kind, and I know we've chatted before. You started uh, later in life yeah. at golf. Yeah. So that's a real tribute to yourself. Well, thanks, Jack. And uh, so, but that there, and, and the other, the, another good reason, because I've played with guys, and when you, act or you think that you're better than you are and you sulk and you pout or this and you get mad it ruins the other foursome it can and you've seen it probably oh yeah and guys go Jesus, they stop it for, for starters do you practice for an hour a day or two hours a day not likely do you put the time in to get better not likely then don't expect because it's one of the hardest games to be good at yeah it really is so Anyways, I enjoy the day. I'm not going to let that. And look at this. How could you not enjoy it? Like, figure it out. Yeah, beautiful hair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's that's wise advice. So, before we go, I got a question for you. So, you got a chance to play any famous golf course in the world. What would your choice be? Well, there's a couple. I think Pebble Beach, though. Okay. Pebble Beach would be. So we can set up a game for you at Pebble. But, <laughs> but, you got to take. Three, three other people with you. You got to take a hockey player, living or dead. You got to take a famous person, living or dead. And you've got to take 
an athlete, another athlete, living or dead. So a hockey player, living or dead, anybody you would like to be with for four or five hours. Well, I've had the pleasure, and he's my favorite uh, hockey player, and I have had the pleasure of playing some golf with him, and that is Bobby Orr, and he's yeah, the most humble, nice. wonderful person. When I was 18, I went to the Orr Walton hockey camp, and I was just drafted, and I drove into the Orr Walton hockey camp, and when I got out of my car, and I never met Bobby Orr before, he walked out and said, hi, Jack, I'm Bobby Orr. Wow. And I, 1974, he'd won everything. He won the Norris Trophy for eight or nine years in a row. I, I'm going, I know. Uh, uh, anyways, he's been doing it ever since. And last year I had lunch with him. It's, he's just a fabulous man. And to spend time with Bobby Orr is, is fabulous. And he's a good golfer, too. Um, He'd be on my list, too, by the way. In, in case Bernie Nichols is a fabulous golfer okay. now. Yeah. I golf with him once in a while. And uh, he is a fabulous player. Um, so a famous person, I would living or dead. I would, if I had the chance, then he he had his own golf would be Bob Hope. I mean, I think what he <laughs> did, and <laughs> the way he traveled around, and uh, the way he carried himself, uh, the amount of work he did uh, with the veterans and traveling and things like that, Bob Hope was very unique. My dad loved him. Everybody, our, our our generation, yeah. our parents loved yeah. Bob Hope, right? Fair enough. And so the third, some, some, a golfer? Uh, some uh, other, other athlete, not a hockey player. Oh, not a hockey player. Well. Living or dead? Well, I don't know. I, I, you know what? I think Michael Jordan would be a neat guy. Yeah. To. Uh, yeah. Would he ever? And uh, what's that? He just did that show. We were just talking about it. Uh, the. Yeah, the thing on Netflix. Last Dance. Thank you. Yeah. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I've seen yeah, parts of it. It's awesome. But uh, I think to be able to walk around and, and play golf and chat with him would be a wonderful experience. Um, okay. And as a golfer, if, if I was to pick a golfer, it'd have to be Jack Nicholas. And, and if one of them can't make it, call me. You got her. You got her, Kent. I always love playing with you. Well, hey, thanks for the time, man. I hope we get to get out soon. Uh, yes. Before the year's out. Look forward to it. Okay, man. We'll yeah. do the COVID thing. Got it. Thanks, Jack.